you know, seeing as how this is your 14th or 15th film? Yes, yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you could just talk about your preparation on that. Preparation was um, always very, preparation is always very essential for, for the for the movie because during the preparation I do photographic tests, you know, we, we test makeup, we test wardrobe, we do all kinds of uh, stuff to to create some kind of representation of the story, lighting and color and stuff like that. So I occasionally get really good length of time to to get ready for the movie. This was probably like four or five weeks. For five weeks I've done I've done really interesting photographic tests, you know, and based on that I would show them to Steven and based on based on his reaction I would make certain uh, uh, Choices, you know, and and uh, with doubt, with those choices and some ideas, we would start the production. You know, um, we didn't talk much about what we're going to do. We seldom do. Uh, I think the beauty of working with Steven is that he is a, he expects from his um, from his collaborators, from the people that he works with, to to be at the top of the profession, and and he trust our judgments and trust our choices and he goes with our our ideas which is also extremely rewarding and and inspiring to work with someone who who sees you as an equal uh, uh, participant and who's who admires your contribution to the movie you know? um, um, I think we've spoke very briefly about certain lighting style you know and knowing that the camera is not going to move and knowing that the um, sets will be built around the existing uh, 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 blueprints of the White House, you know, and knowing that I will work with um, windows and existing light sources, automatically there, certain style is being created. You know, I don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know, if there's a lamp, most of the time, the light would come from that lamp. It doesn't mean that I would actually use that lamp to illuminate the scene, because it's just not sufficient enough to give the, to give the illumination. But, but I would motivate the light sources by by uh, existing light sources in the set, and of course, if the if the drama was not um, appropriate, drama of the light, by, by drama of the existing light was not sufficient for the for the story, I would totally abandon the process of of being realistic and just be dramatic with the light. You know, so I would just go for um, non-realistic light sources to make the movie more interesting in terms of the storytelling. Uh, what's it like shooting a film that is so largely interior? Well, it's, it's to me, it's, it's not that largely interior because we have many, many uh, uh, exterior, many uh, existing locations. So to me, set set is means you are you know exter interior movies like you're on the sets. You know, so this was existing locations which which was different than being on a movie set. But I like being in that environment because. It allows me to do, uh, to some degree, more controlled work. You know, if I'm on location and I've got, I'm relying on the sunlight, um, then that sun is going to move and everything's going to change. But when I'm in the on the existing location, I can control the sunlight. I can bring my own light sources. I'm controlling the image to the extent that I like to control it. You know, mm -hmm. um, so I like working on interior movies. What I don't like, I don't like working on big stages with blue screen or green screen. Mm -hmm. That is that is just totally. That's not my ball game. I get I get physically sick from it, you know. Um, but working on the sets, you know, it's not bad, you know. Mm -hmm. I like exteriors as well, but exteriors are very hard because the weather changes all the time, and that was the case of War Horse. You know, we had weather pattern, three <laughs> weather patterns every day. You know, starting with the sun or fog or going to rain, and then you get beautiful puffy clouds, and then you get a little bit more fog in the evening. So that's that's very demanding, you know. Um, so this movie was relatively easy to make because we were in a very controlled environment. Right. Yeah. I wonder if you could talk about the uh, color scheme of the film. Uh, I, I noticed a lot of really deep blacks, and kind of, uh, you know, it, it made it feel, uh, uh, you know, obviously they're very cold because they don't have a lot of heat and they're all wrapped in bundled right. and blankets right. and I could really feel that in the film. I wonder if you could talk about uh, when you're deciding on it. It's very different, of course, from the color palette of War Horse. Very right. different from the, uh, if you could talk a bit about uh, when you're planning a color palette. Well, I wrote the winter light, right? So the winter light, by this definition, is a little bit cooler, a little bit, uh, you know, not as, mm -hmm. not as colorful. But, the, but although I'm, I am using sunlight, so you would think sunlight would be warm, but yet 
well, I wanted that sunlight to be slightly white, you know, simply because it just felt right. Felt right in terms of not introducing too much color because it would be just too colorful, would not feel realistic. Um, I mean, this room is realistic, but it looks garish, right? Because it's got all these colors here. So, so you want to control the color and, 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 and use the color to tell the story. And it's simplest, very simple, you know. Some on the side, you go with pale white or bluish light. Someone is happy, you go with, with warm lights, you know. And, and during the party at, at, at the White House, we were using a full color pattern. You know, it's party, happy thing, you know, you get costumes and so forth. But during the, his, his disagreements with, with, with his wife, I would control that color. I would stay away from, from color trails. I would light a little bit, little bit of blue light, you know. So, so it became more dramatic, more almost theatrical in those particular <coughs> instances. Uh, and then when we go outside for the inauguration, it's kind of reproduction of almost of, of the uh, old daguerreotype uh, photos, kind of brownish with the, with the, with the with the highlights being burned out. So there's some concept to it, uh, and the concept is to evoke emotions and stay somehow true to the, to the period, you know. But then again, very few, or if any, color photos exist from the Civil War. Or if they are color, they were hand tinted, or they were painted by hand. So, so I don't think I've seen many color photos. They were usually sepia or, or very brown, you know. But they don't want to distract the audience from the store. And then pale skin tones were very pale because people didn't really go outside as much in the winter, you know. So I wanted that kind of a white paper, paper tone um, of the skin of the actors, you know. Yeah. And, okay. you know and the scene when, when, when Mary is sitting on the bed um, talking to Lincoln, that beautiful silhouette, you know. Yes, yes. I've actually put a little bit about color drills on the window so I would retain the color of the of the lace curtain, there's a bit of magenta in that curtain, so I wanted to maintain that because it's just such a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. But try, trying to recreate the reality without being overly too color or color. Right. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about framing. Um, I noticed in the uh, the big finale of the film where they're in the Senate voting on the bill, <coughs> I felt a very claustrophobic feeling. That's why I wanted to ask you about shooting something interior because. I had this uh, feeling of claustrophobia as we're awaiting whether or not the bill is going to be passed. And then the first shot outside, it's a big breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a feeling of relief now that the bill has been passed. But it was that kind of feel because with the smoke, with the bright white light coming through the window, and, and we did have a lot of people there. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know the exact amount, but, but that, that courtroom was very busy. Not courtroom, that courtroom, that Congress was very busy with people. So. So, you know, and, and, and people were constantly assaulting each other, whether they were the Democrats assaulting the Republicans, usually were the Democrats assaulting the Republicans. Um, you want to feel that kind of a intensity of that, you know, that room where, where the body was stinking, smelling, where the people were smoking cigars and, mm -hmm. and cigarettes, where there was atmosphere, it just felt very, very kind of unglamorizing, you know, very common, very proletariat like, like you know. Um, and yes, and the, and the frame was usually filled up with faces, you know, because mm -hmm. it was hard to avoid faces because we had so many people. So, but also created this, you know, this sense of something important, you know, something being happening, decisions are being made, that the, the fate of the nation is being decided. 